New at five tonight, a new push to help student veterans achieve in the classroom. Across the nation, there are more than a million student veterans enrolled in college. Now one local lawmaker wants to make sure they have what they need to succeed. WPTV News Channel 5's Arthur Mondale joining us live from Palm Beach State College tonight with more on new legislation. Earlier today, Representative Lois Frankel came here to reintroduce the Veteran Education Empowerment Act. Now, that's an act all to ensure student veterans here and everywhere graduate. Palm Beach State College's Veteran Success Center is more than a boots to book support system for approximately 1,100 veterans and their families. Almost like a fish out of water. Providing career and academic advising, tutoring, and a long list of referrals. Whether it's PTSD, whether it's military sexual trauma, whether it's just, you know, I haven't got paid and I am facing whatever challenge it is financially. Um, whatever they're facing, whatever they're facing, this is a good place to start. The center, which opened last year, is the product of an $800,000 state grant, boosting the retention rate to 77%. But not all colleges in South Florida or nationally are home to veteran success centers. Representative Lois Frankel, the mother of a Marine, hopes to change that. I really do understand the sacrifice that these young people make and I understand that they have to go through some transition when they get home. The act would provide schools with up to $500,000 in federal funding to colleges to establish, maintain, and operate vet centers. They want clear direction because that's what they got in the military. They got clear direction, they got a goal they have to go after, and uh, they do best when they're given clear directions. Now, officials here tell me that if that legislation is approved, they will indeed apply for it to help and assist their ever expanding student veteran population. Reporting live, Arthur Mondale, WPTV News Channel 5.